and welcome back to Fonte's show. Ladies, let's talk business with myself, Faustina Anyamu. Happy New Year once again, if we haven't met this year. So, um, my topic today is, um, you know, I, I'm using uh, this one, I'm going to use something a little bit catchy for you to remember. You know, um, the topic today is Megan Lucian. So that is um, a replacement for resolution. You know why? I want to use Megan Lucian because it's going to be a kind of buzzword, it's going to be a, a word for you, a kind of reminder for you. Now, um, traditionally, we all, uh, usually, we all make um, resolutions, New Year resolutions. And you can agree with me that oftentimes um, resolutions that people take you know doesn't even last more than two weeks if you are so um disciplined <laughs> then maybe it, it takes you throughout the end of january sometimes february before march you know you you've gone back to your default setting now well i want to introduce megan lucian simply you know to use that word to remind you i will tell you why now and what i have defined megan lucian as megan lucian is um the duchess of um success she's um inspired you know action uh, actionable inspired uh, you know approach to resolution um you know so for me um having watched through out 2019 how when um, the duchess of success was pregnant when she had her wedding when she had her baby you know and all of that you know she then took she and the husband harry prince harry they took you know um a holidays during the christmas time went away for a while perhaps had some quiet time to you know look through their life and then plan towards how they want to live their life moving forward and they came up with a plan which they immediately we came into new year they told us that see we are moving forward to execute our plans now you know we have all seen the backlash of taking a decision so now why i'm using that is for you to use her as a window to the world as a window to how the outcome how the you know decisions you take for your own personal lives you know what it can bring to you so until you are ready to face those you know outcomes to face those things that are going to challenge your decision and then you have assessed and evaluated all these things and been, you know, and plan yourself to be ready and to be, you know, to fortify yourself to be able to, you know, face those things without moving your ground. Now, that is what Megan Lucian is. So when you use Megan Lucian, it's a reminder and it's an, an, an eye opener for those who need it to be inspired to actually follow through the resolutions that they make so and these are the steps which i wanted to list out with you is um you know for you to actually achieve your mega illusion you know you have to have to evaluate your life evaluate your resources evaluate where you are evaluate your strengths and your weaknesses evaluate you know everything that is going on in your life then when, once you have done made all these evaluations you would have come up with um you've come you've come to terms with what you want and what you don't want it becomes clearer you have more clarity in your life and once you have this clarity the next step will be to make plans now you have been able to evaluate your own strength and your weaknesses you have evaluate where you are and where you want to be now you have to, the, the planning process now means that you allocate you know reasonable resources 
towards achieving that goal then you plan you know how to manage you know the outcomes of that decision you're going to take and then you also you know um, um allocate you know you, you know you, you break down you allocate those the, the goals to be able to break it down small small goals that you know, want to achieve because you cannot achieve everything like that boom so you have to like let's say for example if um if for example i say i want to improve my business you know there's nothing tangible to hold there's no time setting there's nothing so during your planning this is when you're going to set your your timing this is when you're going to set the goal you know what kind of what do you mean by improving your business what measures what tangible things are you going to hold that would make you believe that yes i am improving my business i have done that i want to do i'm achieving the goals i've set for example now i could say um if i want to improve my business i could say okay this year um i want to improve on my you know um i have to attend at least five um five professional or career or business conference or, ne or seminar or uh, you know workshop this year so when you have gone for five you know or you gone for one two then you know that you are following through that those actionable goals or you could give yourself okay this year i'm going to allocate 10 pounds towards promoting my business you know every month or every month i must spend my budget every month for promoting my business is going to be 10 pounds so that every month whatever come what may you have to bring out the 10 pounds and channel it towards you know promoting your business or you could say okay this year i must you know exhibit my business in 10 events you know or you could give yourself a target and say okay this year i'm volunteering i will collaborate with three different organizations and then you map out so these are the things that you plan this is what the planning is so you have a kind of calendar or that you, you have to tick off you have your schedule where you tick off when you have achieved or when you are you know going through those goals and then the most important then becomes the execution and this is where my mega illusion and resolution are different now here like i've said to you when you're taking a mega illusion you are carefully planning and executing it and then because you have evaluated plan you've already made you've already had prospect you have already you know um, been able to project what is going to what your actions your decisions are going to you know the outcomes of them so now resolution remember like i said to you usually resolutions are based on feelings and on you know people make resolution on that euphoria during the euphoric moment or seeing other people doing something and you want to follow the trend but mega illusion as i'm saying it is not um it's not a trend you know it doesn't follow any trend it has it's, it's an action you take based on your you know having properly evaluated your situation and therefore you are responsible and you are ready and you are able to execute now this is the most important one executing those decisions and this is where most people i you know where most people get you know wrong why you need a mentor you need you know um, um in fact this year one of the things i want you to you know to try to do is to have at least a mentor or a, or a coach you know when you have a mentor you you are answerable to somebody you know you have somebody pushing you you have somebody showing you you have somebody you know um 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 you know setting helping you set those targets and make those evaluations and holding you to account when you are not taking the necessary actions you need to take so this year is all about megan lucian 
be inspired by the um, Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle, who, you know, under no pressure, nothing will make her to back down from a life she has planned for herself. Remember, in this life, you cannot please everybody. Remember, in this life, you know, every decision you take, whether good or bad, you're going to lose certain things. So you have to make a decision what is going to give. What, uh, you know, what is going to be, what are you going to forego? You know, in economics, when we are in school, we used to, we, we learned about foregone alternatives. So before, during your evaluation time, that's when you, you know, you really understand what are your foregone alternatives. What are the alternatives you're going to forego? And what are you going to benefit from that decision? Which one is better for you? So you make your priorities, you make your budget, you, you channel your resources, your energy towards what is important to you now is your decision to make you know some people need a hand need somebody to hold them in going through that so this is also part of you evaluating your strengths and your weaknesses so when you know your weaknesses and you believe that you are somebody that you know you need a shoulder to rely on then i am here as your mentor get in touch let's sit down let's discuss let's talk about Let's set up, you know, a plan for you to begin to change your lives, to begin to, you know, walk towards your goals, for you to begin to, you know, actualize those dreams. Because um, <laughs> normally it is, um, it's very easy for us to always succumb back to our default mood from our, what we are used to, what, you know, our comfort zone you know and um oftentimes many people are so unhappy people go through different emotional turmoils and things like that because they haven't made the decisions they are supposed to make there's something i always tell um people you know like when i'm doing something when i'm when i want to achieve something when i set a goal or when i when i'm planning a project or something I put in all the things I need to do. Everything I need to do that I know of, I do it. Then once I've finished doing what I, I need to do, if I'm not getting the result I want, then I, I leave it to fate. I will not bother myself anymore. But the difference here is that most times, oftentimes, we worry so much. When you worry, anytime you're worrying yourself about anything, that means there is something you need to do that you haven't done so that is what is worrying you and oftentimes worry comes um from procrastination comes from lack of planning comes from lack of evaluation comes from lack of execution you know not taking action remember my first video this year was action action when i talked about um you know taking your bathroom ideas to the worst stage what is holding you from, you know, from that idea that filled your mind in, while you were taking your bath and you taking up the worst stage is action. Now, if you find yourself in that space where you procrastinate, you fear, you know, procrastination, fear and, um, you know, um, lack of confidence in yourself or in that idea makes you not to take action then you need a mentor i'm not going to say that you know i can't say this enough you need a mentor to hold your hands and tell you that yes and push you and you know get your back so and that is what i do i help women especially i help men and women but women especially to you know to to step into their potentials to do what they need to do to find yourself you know sometimes you not even find yourself to help you take action sometimes we have the best ideas we know everything we want to do but we are scared you know we are so weak we are so we don't have confidence you need somebody to encourage you, you need somebody to push you. you need somebody to hold your hand if you're a procrastinator you need somebody to you know to 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 hold you to account so you need to see you know finding a mentor this year as 
part of your investment towards achieving your goals. It's not an expenses, it's an investment towards becoming who you need to be. Remember, it, this is the year of Megan Lucian. Take action, make decision, plan, execute that plan to achieve the life you've always wanted to achieve. Thank you.